Welcome back. My name is Anna K. Rule and I'm a registered nurse. If this is your first time, welcome. So I know my last video I said that my next video, which is this video, was going to be about me talking about my experience after getting the second dose of the COVID-19 vaccine. I'm still going to do that video, but I wanted to do a video before that one to talk about immunity and vaccinations and why I am choosing to personally get a COVID-19 vaccine. Okay, so let's get into immunity. Immunity, there are two types of immunity. There is passive immunity and there is active immunity. Now passive immunity occurs when a preformed antibody is introduced through an external source to the body or to the agent, which is the host or yourself. This occurs, an example of this, and a great example of this, is when a mother passes on antibodies to her fetus or unborn child while they're in the womb. This occurs through the umbilical cord, where the mother will pass on the antibodies that she has to the baby. The, when the baby is born, the mother will breastfeed this baby, if breastfeed is something that the mother does, and then this protection offers additional passive immunity because the mother is also introduced in breast milk which has antibodies to the baby and the mother will act as the external source. Now for active immunity, this can occur naturally. So in the event that you did come by contracting the infection or the virus, your body is actually triggered to create an immune response. So the first thing the mother would be like, what's happening here? And it will be jumping around and will try to build antibodies against the virus in the event that you are reintroduced to this virus or infection, you already have immunity. Take for example, if you got the chickenpox virus. And as a child, you're told if you got a chickenpox virus before, then you're immune against getting chickenpox. So that's the thing. The body was immune naturally because you got a chickenpox virus, you got infected with chickenpox. So your body now creates antibodies. So in the event that you reintroduce the chickenpox, your body already has antibodies to protect you against the virus. Another form of um, active immunity is vaccines. Now vaccines also activate or stimulate the bodies to create an immune response. Now when a vaccine is introduced into the body, the body will mimic that and think, okay, I did get this infection and it will then mimic the antibody protection it would had you gotten the infection naturally. So what it would do in this case is that the B cells will become so sensitive that they'll build antibodies in the event that you're actually introduced to the actual virus itself. So that's what the COVID-19 vaccine will be doing in this case, we'll be, we'll be providing active immunity. So why am I choosing personally to get the COVID-19 vaccine? And I said personally because it is a personal choice. Um, my place of work, you know, that I've worked, has actually required for me to get the vaccine. It's not mandatory. It's strongly recommended, but it's not mandatory. So I do have a personal choice to get this vaccine. I thought about many things. I thought about my family. I thought about, you know, we all don't want to take work home. They always say, oh, I don't want to take work home. But I'm aware that I can actually physically take work home with me if I should contract a virus while at work. So I wanted, I mean, I could get a virus from going anywhere. Supermarket, to the stores, you know, I can get it from going anywhere. But I wanted to ill name me as being a factor of my family contracting the virus because I got it from work. I thought about the impact it would have on my family. If, you know, I brought this virus into the home, I thought about my 93-year-old grandmother, I thought about all the people involved. And I said to myself, if I'm being offered this vaccine, I do want to go ahead and protect my family the best way I can. And that was one way I thought I could do so. I also thought about myself, of course, I did. I got myself naturally. And I'm actually very thankful, very, very thankful that um, I'm grateful that I have not um, contracted the COVID-19 virus since the pandemic started. And to my friends, my colleagues, to anyone who's watching who was affected, whether it be directly affected where you got the virus or you were indirectly affected where you knew someone or lost someone from the virus, my heart goes out to you. It is a time where so many things are happening around us and to be hit with the COVID-19 um, virus at home or close to home, it really does have an impact and my heart goes out to you. 
so these are things I thought about as well. Like, you know, I didn't want to be in that situation. I thought about my patients as well. I do work with patients or immunocompromised from those who have whether it be cancer or a history of HIV or AIDS or different disease. And I said to myself, I want to offer an extra protection to my patients. I do wear my PPEs. I wash my hands before and after patient care. I have done everything I can, you know, work itself to protect my patients and also protect myself from my patients, my patients from me as well. And I said to myself, if by taking this vaccine, I'm offering an additional line of defense or protection to my patients, that is something that I felt that I personally wanted to do, but I also felt it was a professional choice for me personally choosing to do that. And as I said, it's not mandatory, so it's a personal choice. And there are all the ways to protect your patients. Wear your PPEs, wash your hand in between before and after patient care. You know, things like that, clean down your equipment, clean your stethoscope, all your your devices that you use to provide patient care. So there are other ways to protect your patient if you decide not to get the vaccine. But I felt as though I wanted to offer that additional protection by getting the COVID-19 vaccine. So those are mostly the reasons that has influenced me getting the vaccine. I mean, I think maybe like a few people, I was at first hesitant. But then when I examined all the factors I mentioned to you earlier, I decided that, you know what, I am going to go ahead and I'm going to take that leave and I'm going to take the vaccine. So those are my reasons for taking the vaccine. And um, during my next video, I will have gotten my vaccine by then. And I will talk to you about, I'll talk to you about how I felt after getting the vaccine. And um, we'll see what happens then. So until then... Be safe and be well. Thank you for watching.